personally have only seen one pet coffin in my whole life before I started making them. And someone in my past had made one long 20, 30 years ago, and I remembered it, and, and I kind of thought then, I think people are gonna like these boxes for uh, many reasons, for the fact that they're unique, they're different, their, uh, their pet won't go in a bag or a cardboard box for one thing. And uh, I don't know, it's just something that you're gonna look at and it's so different that it just it jumps out at you and says, look at me. The name of my business is Bandit's Box and Bandit is my first dog. I had a little chihuahua around the house for 17 years and kind of like a part of the family after that long. And my wife called me one day and said he had passed away and she wasn't happy what he was in from the hospital. So I come home immediately and started making a box. They had put him in a cardboard box to bring him home and we wasn't happy with it. So I started making a box and before I know it, it was done and it looked, it looked great. And we uh, buried him, put him in the ground and that's how it started. Depending on what type of wood I start with, I normally make pine and I'll basically get my size in my head. I don't have any dimensions wrote down, any angles or anything. It's all just when I start on one, it's none two alike. There's no two alike. So I just start from scratch and just go with it. I am a carpenter. I mean, I've done it all my life and I've, I love working with my hands and I love the smell of cut wood and I just, I love working with wood. And so this right here, it just kind of, it went with my life. I mean, I, I love what I do. I love it. If I could do this for a living, I would do it every day. I started out with the coffins, I guess, from the Dracula movie stuck in my head from when I was a kid for some reason. And they have shaped, and the story probably goes a little further back than that. I've worked in a cemetery. I've handled ca caskets. I've put them in the ground. So I kind of know what they need to look like. And But my shape is a little different. I didn't want a plain Jane. And so I started making a different angles and just, just playing with the wood. We do customize the caskets as far as little name plates. We have put handles on them. We'll put a special trim design on them. We'll customize, say it's a hunting dog. We'll, we'll put a camo in there and maybe even a duck head or a coon or, because the coon hunters, they really love their dogs and they'll really go all out. They'll want it all, coon heads and handles and everything. And we can also, uh, special color. I mean, if somebody wanted a pink one for their little poodle or, or anything, I could do that or it, there's no stopping. <laughs> we'll go anywhere. I had had uh, got a call one day about this woman. She was interested in purchasing one of my caskets and she drove uh, about 75 miles one way to come and look at it. And I had them sitting out on display and, and when she come in, she was just amazed at, at the quality of work and the craftsmanship and she had loved it and she had told me her cat lived 21 years and I just, I was amazed. 21 years, they deserve a nice place to go. I mean, it, and it was great. The woman cried when she seen it. She had picked her box out and she just smiled and cried and laughed the whole way. Walk, I walked her out to her car and I just, that 21 year old cat, I guess, will stick in my head forever. People probably are gonna, it's gonna take a, a special person to want one of these boxes. But if they truly love their pet, regardless if it's a cat, dog, hamster, whatever, they will enjoy having one of these boxes for their pet to be rested in. And I mean, it's just, to me, it's, it's kindness. To, uh, it's the last thing you can do for your pet. The, the, that dog that barked every time somebody knocked at your door, or the cat that rubbed against your leg every time you come in the door. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's just different. And I think that I, I am fulfilling something, somebody's need. And I, I hope that that they enjoy it and, and it makes it a little easier on that time of need. I guess the reason why I make these boxes now that I've kept on doing it, I, I get I must get an enjoyment out of it. I guess I not only enjoy making it and doing my thing with it, but I enjoy seeing the people enjoy the boxes and, and know that their pets, not just dogs, but the cats and the birds and their pets are gonna go in the ground in, in something nice that they probably wouldn't mind going in. I mean, it's, it's just, it makes me feel good to see them feel good. <laughs>